Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. Um, we're in, I'm in a natural setting. I'm actually outside on my balcony. So um, if you hear like noise from like people walking past and and stuff like that, um, I'll try to um, over talk it where you could you can't hear it. But you may hear a little bit of noise in my background. But I decided to come outside um, just to kind of get that natural setting because we're talking about natural hair. So what better place to shoot a video? So um, I have been gone for a while. I just took a little break. I had to get some things in order in my personal life. So I am back. I was supposed to start uploading videos again starting May 1st, but I decided I'm gonna start now and I'm gonna upload um, one video every day. So make sure you subscribe to my channel to check out those video, those daily videos. And um, leave in the comment section below any type of videos you are interested in seeing. Also, if you stay to the end of this video, you'll get a bonus tip at the end on um, why your hair isn't growing. Okay, so I'm gonna just jump right into the video. So five reasons why your hair won't grow. The first one is uh, overload of products. A lot of times, when you put too much product in your hair, it can cause your hair to feel very heavy. It can cause your hair to not grow because um, your hair don't have room to grow. It's too much products on top of it, causing it to just be smothered, pretty much. So just make sure that you're keeping your products down to a simple amount of products. I say the rule of thumb is about two products, um, but it all depends on your, he your hair texture, and it also depends on um, your hair density. If your hair is thick or if it's thin, if your hair is more of a thinner type of hair, t hair um, density like mine, then um, you wouldn't wanna, you definitely would wanna keep it down to maybe like just an oil, just because thinner hair tend to um, get weighed down very fast. If your hair is more of a thicker type of density, then I would say a moisturizer and an oil. My second tip is water. Here in Nevada, where I'm located at, the water is very, very hard. So it causes people here to be very dry. Um, it causes the hair to be to feel very, um, very gritty if you wash your hair often. So what you want to do is, if you live in a state that has hard water, you want to get a water softener or something that will um, purify the water in your home, just to make the water uh, not be so hard on the hair. And so that way you'll actually be able to get into a routine of washing your hair on a regular basis and not worrying about my hair is starting to become too dry from washing it. So that's definitely something that um, if you do that, that'll help your hair as well. Tip number three is split ends. And guys, I'm actually looking down at my notebook, so if you keep seeing me looking down, I jotted some notes down, and that's the reason why I keep looking down, up and down. So if you see me doing that, that's because of the notebook. So please excuse me, sorry about that. So split ends, um, a lot of times when you have longer length, you'd be afraid to cut off the hair because you don't wanna lose any of your length. But if you have split ends, you wanna get rid of them. Keeping those split ends will cause them to um, the, the split ends to just go up the hair shaft and it'll just cause the hair to grow into it'll just constantly grow and be split so essentially you'll be doing your hair more damage than good so you want to make sure you're always keeping your split ends clip and cut off you want to get rid of them when you see them there and um, you'll know when you have split ends based off of how your ends look the ends usually are really frayed um, they look really see-through and thin. They're not easy to curl. They're really stubborn. So you want to get rid of those split ends. Anytime you have them, it'll help your hair to grow tremendously. Tip number four. I know people like to say this is really cliche and oh yeah, okay, whatever type of thing. But a bad diet can also make your hair fall out as well. Um, 
I have noticed like with clients and also with my own hair and my girl's hair, when we eat a better diet and when we're drinking lots of water, it tends to bring more nourishment into our hair and it causes our hair to, um, to, be, to just grow to its full capacity. Your hair can't grow unless you're feeding it nutrients from the inside. Your hair does need to be, um, it needs nutrients from the outside, but it also needs it in the inside. So if you're putting good things in your body and you're constantly drinking water, you're constantly eating healthy, all of those type of things does help your hair grow, regardless of what people may say and um, how cliche it may sound, it's honestly the truth. Putting, having a healthy diet and um, putting water in your diet often does cause your hair to grow very well. So, and I, I, when I stop drinking a lot of water and um, when I'm not eating as good, I can definitely tell a difference in my hair. My hair and my skin are the first two things that are affected when I slack. Tip number five, dry hair can cause your hair to fall out very bad. Um, a lot of times with naturally curly hair or just natural hair period, it tends to need a lot more, um, it needs more moisturizing treatments and just moisture period because naturally curly hair has the curls and it makes it hard for the moisture to reach, reach through the entire hair shaft. So you want to up the amount of deep conditioning treatments you're doing on your hair. That will help your hair to grow tremendously as well. Um, people think that they can skip on doing a deep condition treatment. That is not true. Getting a deep condition treatment often, it helps your hair a lot. You want to get those often. And when I say deep condition treatment, I don't mean like shampoo and wash your hair and then put on like a conditioner and put it on for five minutes. No. I mean like shampoo condition your hair and when you, I mean shampoo your hair first and then to condition your hair, you put on a 30 minute mask, put a plastic cap on, sit under a hooded dryer, and sit there for 30 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes, it varies depending on the conditioner you're using, and make sure on the back of that bottle that it actually states that it is um, a moisturizer that helps, your, helps the inside of your cuticle. Because that heat, it tends to, the heat from the um, dryer, the hooded dryer, it helps the hair to open up and helps the, the conditioner or the moisturizer to reach deeper into your hair shaft. So you wanna get the deep condition treatment, it's very important, do not skip on that. And the bonus tip, guys. This is the bonus tip. This is the most important one. <laughs> this is more important than any of them, okay? Most importantly, you have to implement a routine. Without a routine, it will not work. You have to be consistent. If you're not consistent, then it's gonna fail. It's not gonna work. You have to consistently get a routine and say, hey, on Sundays, I'm going to, you know, I'm not busy, I'm gonna wash my hair, deep condition my hair, and, um, you know, uh, put in like a protective hairstyle or something like that. But you wanna get a, a routine. Okay, every six weeks, I'm gonna make sure I'm trimming or at least looking at my ends to see if it needs to be clipped. Get some type of routine in place because routines, when it comes to hair, is very important. It's very important. You don't want to skip that at all. I know I say you don't want to skip on a lot of these, but honestly, if you want your hair to grow, you need to follow these steps. The routine part of it um, is important because your hair will start to um, become accustomed to this routine and then it will it will tell your hair like hey come on let's let's get in shape she doing right now let's let's start this going let's start this growing process growing be patient guys be patient everybody wants to have hair down to their butt you know in like three days no it takes time you know even those people that have hair that long they took time to grow their hair that way nobody can grow hair overnight to their butts we all have to um go through some type of routine and we all have to make sure we're taking care of our hair 100% so that way um, our hair will love us back. So, okay. So that is all for this video, guys. I really appreciate you guys 
um, stopping by. Again, I appreciate every last one of you. Um, I'm almost, well, I'm not almost, I'm 900 or something away from 5,000 um, subbies. So if you guys get me to 5,000 subscribers, then I'm going to do a random drawing on my um, channel and it's going to be live. So stay tuned for that. Once I hit the 5,000, the day that I hit 5,000, I'm going to do a, um, a giveaway. And it's going to be for three bundles between inches 12 through 20. If for this video, this video, I said this video. What's a video? A video doesn't even exist. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's it for this video. But please remember to stay positive, be fierce, and remember you're beautiful. All right, guys. Check you out tomorrow. Bye.